We went out last night and caught some eels in the Delaware River, which flows in the area we were fishing right between Pennsylvania and New York. It's called an American eel. One of the more interesting things about these eels is uh, they're kind of the opposite of salmon. So you think of salmon, there's a word for that, anadromous, meaning salmon spend their lives in the oceans and run up the rivers to spawn. Eels are catadromous. They spend their whole lives in the rivers and go out to the oceans to spawn. So they kind of have the opposite groove of a salmon. Um, a good way to catch them is at night. They're, they're kind of nocturnal. They'll hide under rocks in the daytime and come out and hunt at night. So we caught them just on straight night crawlers. Um, they're very hard to get a hold of and they're very hard to handle when they're live. So what I'll typically do is I'll take a cooler or a box, put about an inch of salt in the bottom of it. When you catch the eel, fling them right in the cooler full of salt, shut the lid on them, cut the line. So my hook's still in here. So when I gut them, I gotta be careful of that hook and I'm gonna retrieve my hook. And first thing I'm gonna do is just make a gutting incision up this guy. He's coated in salt right now, which, which also helps strip the slime away. So I'll come in at his little cloaca here, his little uni hole, and go up. There's some night crawler poking out. I'm gonna go all the way up. Eels are a fish, you know, like what defines a fish, they have a backbone and gills. He's got a little swim bladder. Okay, I'm gonna come in here and split his gills open. Get that out. Still haven't found my hook. There it is. And with that, now I'm gonna go and I can tell I got little cuts on my hands. My hands are stinging. I can tell there's a lot of salt on here. I'm gonna take him. And because that salt's on there, all that slime will strip away. Guys that do eels commercially, tumble them in a, like in a thing that almost resembles like a washing machine tumbler. They tumble them in rock salt to peel the slime off. And it kills them faster than about anything. This is not like a honker of a eel. I mean, I mean you'll get eels twice as long sometimes. So here he's clean. I mean, he kind of resembles when you clean a snake more than anything. And I'm just gonna curl him up. This brine is super simple. It's, uh, there's some herbs in there, but it's primarily like the working ingredients, salt, brown sugar, water. Put them in there. We'll soak those gas for 24 hours. And the next step, we'll put a noose around his neck and hang him in the smoker. The eel's been sitting in the brine overnight, and now we're just going to dry them off. We're going to put a noose on them so he can hang up in the smoker. And that's it. And these things, you got to do really low heat in the smoker because these things cook. Obviously, they're thin, and they cook very fast. So that's one ready to go. Put some wet chips on the smoker. These things go pretty fast. We're gonna keep the smoker as cool as possible. And I cook them right up until like the skin will wanna peel away and the meat will, you'll, you'll get where you can just kind of break it apart. Like how smoked trout gets done and you can, you know, just take your fingers and kind of crumble the thing away or peel the fillets away. Cook it that long. The skin should just get where you can just peel the skin right off and the meat will just come off finger tender. Okay, here's our eel. You wouldn't want to cook them any more than this. If you look, you take the skin and that skin's just ready to peel away and the meat's gonna be Fork tender. Take a little piece like that just to see what's going on. See, it comes off like that. It's a very oily meat. That's perfect. <laughs>